So friends, now we move on to the part which I had uh, talked about or rather I had promised earlier, integration by parts. This is generally used in case you have integration, you have two function being multiplied and you need to find the integral of the product of these functions. So how do we go? The formula goes like this, we write the first function as it is, then we find the integral of the second function minus the integral of the differential of the first function into product of again v dx and this is not enough. You need to find the integral of the product of the differential of the first function and the integral of the second. Now the question arises as to how to understand which has to be taken as a first function, what will you take as u? Because quite very often, <clears throat> if you interchange v and u, you will end up moving around in a loop, loop and then never, the whole thing never ends. But ultimately, this is the formula and let's see what we have here. So it's u v dx is nothing but u into integral of v dx minus integral of differential of u into integral of second and the integral of that product. Now, how do we decide what is, you know, we have something written over here, a latte. This helps you to find, ultimately we are talking about two functions. So, this helps you to find this way, i stands for inverse function, l stands for logarithmic functions, a stands for algebraic expressions, T for trigonometric functions and E for exponential functions. Exponential function in the form A raised to X or any such things. Now, in such cases or even X raised to A. Now, among these, of course, inverse is not relevant for us and trigonometric is also not relevant for us. So, we have L, A, E what matters. So, in logarithmic functions. So, suppose you have log X into 1. Now, you have to take among here we have a logarithmic function and the other one is either algebraic or e because this is nothing but x raised to 0. So you will always take this as u hence it will be log x into 1 dx minus d by dx of log x into integral of 1 dx and the integral of this. Let's see what this turns out to be. This turns out to be log x into x right minus d by dx if log x is 1 by x into x this whole thing dx so this gets cancelled so eventually it's x log x minus 1 dx which is x so it will be x log x minus x plus of course the constant so it will be x log x minus x so this is how we can find if uh, there is no logarithmic function, there is an algebraic function and an exponential function. Say suppose you have 2x plus 5 into x raised to 6 or a raised to uh, x or something. So you will take start by taking this as u and this as uh, v and hence you find this keep it outside accordingly. So this is the general rule that we use. So logarithmic, algebraic function, exponential function. In that case we use it accordingly. So, for example, you have x, so this is an exponential function, so x into e raised to x. So now, this is obviously algebraic function, this is an exponential function, so we take it x outside, it's, remember, u into v dx. So it's going to be x into e raised to x dx minus integral of d by dx of u that is d by dx of x into integral of again v dx that is e raised to x dx and the integral of this product so hence what do we get? We get it as x into e raised to x minus d by dx of x is 1 
into e raised to x dx, e raised to x itself and dx of x. Integral of e raised to x dx is so it's eventually x into e raised to x minus e raised to x plus k. So ultimately it is e raised to x into x minus 1 plus k. Hence you get e raised to x into x minus 1 plus k is the value of this integral. <clears throat> okay, so now we have x log x. So you have this is going to be taken as u, this is going to be taken as v because it's a logarithmic function. So it starts with u integral of v dx. So it's going to be log x into integral of x dx minus integral of d by dx of u du by dx into integral of v dx and the integral of this. This is the way it is. So it's going to be d by dx of u into integral of v. What is v? x dx and the integral of this. So this eventually is going to be log x into x dx's x square by 2 minus d by dx of u that is going to be log x which is going to be 1 by x into x square by 2 and dx of that. So this is going to be x square into log x the whole by 2 minus x square minus half into x square by 2 this is 1 plus k. So it's eventually x square log x by 2 minus x square by 4 plus the constant k. So it's going to be that way we get x square by 4 plus k. So this is how we can use this product. Okay, now we have log x which we did in any case, so logarithmic x, so this you're going to take it as log x into 1 dx, so this is going to be u, so it's going to be outside the integral sign into 1 dx minus d by dx of log x integral of 1 dx and the integral of this product. So it's eventually x log x minus d by dx of log x is 1 by x into x dx. This gets cancelled. So it's eventually x log x minus x plus the constant. So it's going to be x log x minus x plus k which we have used this formula earlier. So integral of log x is x log x minus x plus k. Okay. So now we have x square into e raised to x. So now here this is an exponential function. This is also an exponential but this can be classified as a algebraic function. So we can take it as x square as u and this as v. So it's going to be now, it will be u into e raised to x dx, right, minus integral of d by dx of x square <coughs> into integral of e raised to x dx, the integral of this. So this will give you x square e raised to x minus 2x into e raised to x dx. So ultimately this is going to be x square e raised to x minus 2 into x e raised to x dx. So our job is still not over. So again further we use <coughs> integration by parts. Further we take this. Now again here take minus 2 outside put a big bracket this you're going to take it as u so x into integral of ex dx 
minus integral of d by dx of x sorry derivative of d by dx of x and integral of e raised to x dx and the integral of their product so this is now going to be x square e raised to x minus 2 into x e raised to x minus d by dx of x is 1 so e raised to in integral of e raised to x is dx into dx so it's eventually x square e raised to x minus 2x e raised to x e, did I, uh, integral of e raised to x is e raised to x minus 2 into minus 2 plus 2 e raised to x plus k so eventually if you take e raised to x common you get x square minus 2x plus no this is just yes 2 plus k this is what you get in such a case x square minus 2x e raised to x and hence you get the common all right